What is up guys? Welcome back to another Steam Boss video. So today we're starting off kind of mid, most of the way through this job. So today uh, we got both Steam Boss vans. We got the butler. A lot of people have been asking actually about the butler. So here she is kind of in action. We got... Here she is in action. There she is in action getting the fans. So we got the butler going here. Real big tile job today. About 3,000 square feet of tile moving. Uh, the back. Not too bad, a little bit in shambles because we've been working out of it, but you get the idea. So this is our setup with the butler. Really been enjoying Looking good. Got the regular Steam Boss van here. Are getting, uh, we are getting that one wrapped soon. Um, just, yeah, it's, it's coming. That one's getting wrapped as well. So we got this going on. I'll briefly show you guys what we kind of got going on here. Well, uh, we got a slight pause in what we're doing. So real big house, 3,000 square feet. I got the product kind of chilling here at my CRB. So, I hate walking on the floor, but here we go. Got a big living area here. Turned out great. Through here, got a fan going on the corner there. Big room in here. Lots of tile. The whole entire house is tile. Got a bathroom over here that came out. Big room over here. All this is done already. Kind of just bringing you guys right in the middle of it. We got that room done already. This here, just scrubbed it in. Fans blowing on it. We got a little bit of thing going on. We got that room done already. And uh, got Bill here working on shower wall. Good, got the rest of this to do. So, uh, I don't think we're gonna film too much here. Uh, it was actually fairly clean tile, so not like a huge difference or anything. I'll film a little bit here, but we'll probably catch up with you guys on another job later today. video here after this one. So we're at Madeira Beach. We got a first floor condo here. It's a double unit. I'm gonna show you guys inside this one here. All right, so we are doing all of the tile in this one. So it's actually a lot bigger than it looks. Uh, kind of it goes all the way down there. So overall, not too, too bad. The kitchen's pretty bad. The bathrooms are really bad. But, uh, so we got all this hallway here. We got a bedroom here. Gonna go around the beds best we can. So like the master suite here. Got another bathroom and a master closet over there. So this will take us a little bit. Just measured it up. This is about 850 cleanable square feet of tile. So hopefully we'll knock this out in a couple hours. This is clean and sealed. First, let me show you guys the view here. We're gonna move most of this furniture. And let's see, focus for my camera. There we go. So. We're right on the ocean here, got a nice pool. And uh, yeah, so not too bad of a view for being an end unit here. Ocean's always pretty. So without further ado, let's get everything set up and let's get going. All right, so we're slowly bringing some stuff up here. We got it stretched all the way down. Uh, so today we will be using Sager's Tsunami. Everyone, every single video asks what we use, so that's what we'll be using here. It's actually pretty dirty. Did a little test spot. and That's hard to see on camera, but it's, it's actually pretty dirty. Becky is with me today, of course as you saw in the last clip, and uh, run into the van down here. Luckily, we're only on the first floor. We could not have used bad. a portable for this, so yeah, not overall, bad. not too bad.
I told you it was dirtier than it looked. Water's immediately turned brown. So we did the kitchen once, however, looking at it, it's hard to tell on the camera, but you can see kind of how it's a little bit squashy there. So we're probably going to do the kitchen a second time. The kitchen was by far the worst from, you know, all the cooking stuff, everyone's in here, all the foot traffic. So we're probably going to have to do the kitchen one more time. Not a big deal. We got uh, Becky in there, CRB in those rooms here. I just laid the product down in this room and we got the whole hall soaking. So dwell time is also pretty important. Here, Becky's actually doing a small acid treatment to just part of this kitchen here. So we think that's the issue. So we're gonna lay that down, let it sit for a minute, go over it again, and then hit it with alkaline again. Should be good to go. All right, small update. Becky's laying the stuff down over there. So we just have this left to do in this hall here. It's pretty dirty. Uh, bathroom and all that is all done. Just rinsed all that. Looks really, really good in here as well. May have to do a little bit of acid acid work right there by the toilet, but we're going to wait and see how she dries. So we're all done with the cleaning part. We got a bunch of fans in here, a nice cross breeze by the ocean over there, letting it dry. So what we did find out about this place was the this tile here and the tile on the other side is actually a newer uh, tile. Um, do one last look at the beach out there. Anyway, so this tile here and the tile over there cleaned up really, really, really nice. This tile here, uh, that's in the foyer here and it stops kind of right where the fan is stops there and goes in the kitchen that was the original tile of the place it has never been cleaned so the soil was very very impacted um, i don't know if you guys remember what these were like before but they were literally black and now they are uh, looking great however we did have to clean it we treated it with the acid and the grout lines brushed most of this by hand because the soil was just so impacted uh, rinsed it and then went over it again with the alkaline cleaner to get it look like this So it took a little bit of time to do this kind of section here and in the kitchen But I think it's gonna be worth it in the end because they're gonna be super happy with it um, Everything else looks pretty good. All I'm gonna do is apply the sealer here. We're going to just uh, let it sit And that's pretty much it for this one guys. So I'm not sure if the video is ending here or not, but we're done with this one <laughs>